probably definitely terrible. What horrible thing do you think he'll want us to do in exchange for that power regulator? Miss Holcomb, I need to explain this with less of me. The grease monkey, Argo? I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. It's Parvati. Just try using small words. She was in that guy's notes. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson, I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Hi. Sir, I've been doing my best. Honest. This is not a complicated notion, Parvati. The cannery is the beating heart of our institution. And what is it we say about the cannery? It sucks. Um, so long as the machine of the cannery runs, the machinery of life runs. Precisely. Although, I do wish you'd put a little more pride into our slogans. Need some more flair. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. Yeah? Of course not. I don't have that kind of luck. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. It's true. Maybe this guy just really hates sprats. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Thompson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. That's what she said. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. Okay. Oh, yes. Saw someone put his hands on a regulator while the power was running. His legs were still twitching when we buried him. And how about when you dug him back up again? Botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. What do you mean mostly here? Go down here? to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their oh. power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. What's there? Who's they? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but... There are people who live there. I see. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs. They're deserters. Former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Uh... Edgewater is struggling. We haven't hit our production quota in years. If we don't meet our quotas this year, the company might shut us down for good. I need those workers back at their stations. Hmm. Neither do I. The fault was entirely mine. I pushed them too hard. And continue to do so. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go. And that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. Hmm. That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her followers. We belong to one community. The Spacer's Choice family. It's a company. It's not a family. Then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. 
Why don't you join Adelaide? Of course, I understand completely. Here, let me give you the passcode to the geothermal plant. A sign of good faith for so politely listening to me as I ramble on. Are you setting off for the Vale? Because I know my way around. I, I mean, in case you want a guide. Yes, please come with me. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. No, you're my best I friend now. part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. No, she's my best friend now. Get out of here. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. That's right. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Okay, bye. Yay. The Companion Ledger. Okay, Companion. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okay. What did that do? Ah! You're so quiet. She's got a very good headband. That means she's my friend. Hey, mister, can we talk? Sorry. You want to talk here? Got a sec? Sorry. I... You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just... Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters. On account of it's his job and, and what all, but... That's not the only side of the tale. You don't say. Oh, he ain't a liar. He believes every word he says. It's just... He doesn't always get where other folk are talking from. To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. Does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. My monitor has just turned off, so I'm going to briefly turn off my microphone until I can fix that. Hold on, please. Okay. Problem solved for now. Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. Oh. Real big to do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Can't say as I know, I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. Alas. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt, if you can get out to her. Life's hard here. Especially for them that don't fit in so well. We're one big Spacer's Choice family, but every family's got the one the rest whisper about. Are you saying Mr. that is Thompson's you? Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Max. Books are for rich folk. I wonder what he wants with something like that. 
Hmm. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. I think you're right. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Your dad is correct. Well, let's go. Sure. I'm going. So you can order them around and such. Okay, so... Uh, which way to the vicar's... No, that's to leave. Over here. I'm on my way. There it is. Uh <laughs> Misleading arrows. Gotta love them. I've always felt weird in here. Clean. You prefer things that are less clean, I see. Can't take a seat, eh? Any progress on that matter we discussed? Ah, oh, Miss Holcomb. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. This here's Vicar de Soto. He's always offering spiritual counsel to those that need it. Thank you for the kind assessment, Miss Holcomb. I admit, I've been quite interested to make our outsider's acquaintance. Mm hmm Please, get it. A religious text deemed heretical by the OSI is an unsafe object at large. Though I understand why a collector would desire to possess such a rare book. Because I'm also a collector. Of books. Rare things in this colony. Appreciation of the written word outside monthly periodicals is virtually unknown here. I mean, they read monthly periodicals. But what? I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Hmm. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. What talk? They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? I mean, yeah. Astute. But I am here, not in the deserter camp. So that's not a variable I can account for. Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. I don't think so. If it were as easy as a few soothing words in the right ears, I'm sure it would have been done already. Consider it a challenge. I've never seen you before, and there's been no paperwork indicating a transfer. Half the time it's wrong, but... A new worker without paperwork? Unheard of. Fair also, enough. You lack the distinctive worker gaze. Usually either a deadening behind the eyes, or in some rare cases, a wild-eyed frenzy. Like a trapped animal. Yeah? Here. Except for Miss Holcomb, who for some reason doesn't seem to have much to say to me. Isn't that right? It's just... There's more to it all than numbers. Sorry. Hmm. I'm simply bemoaning the level of spiritual awareness in this town. Sounds like you're being a jerk. Yes, but there are few who hear me in this miserable place. I must double my efforts to elevate my flock. These are good, hard-working people here. <laughs> yes, and thank you for pointing it out. It is wrong of me to succumb to distress. 
This place could be so much more, and I will continue in my quest to make it so. Uh huh. They who are not satisfied with their work are satisfied with nothing. No. How about um, work fortifies the spirit? True exhaustion awaits idle hands. Selling? No. It is free for all who seek it. I'm sorry you don't find these tried and true words of wisdom to your liking. Yeah, I mean, they're bad. Have you? These people need something, anything they can grasp to survive. Delving into the metaphysical minutiae of the grand plan would be nonsense to them, if not worse. I'm... <sighs> My apologies. The townsfolk are having a tough time of it, and it's been difficult for me to enrich their lives. They are good people. It is just... <sighs> difficult to reach them. Have you considered doing anything other than saying the same words at them over and over again. Is that something you might consider in the future? Oh, hey Parvati, I leveled up, so just hold on a sec. You can just stand there, it's okay. I love this outfit. Okay. I gotta get my lockpick going. I think. Let's see here. Um, oh, that's the boy. <laughs> I don't know if I need to worry about this stuff right now. Uh, but lockpick. I want to do better with that one, I think. Oh, combat dialogue skill. When attacking the correct type of target, they are automatically debilitated. Interesting. I'll be interested to see how that works. All right, no perk this this level. It's every two levels. Well, Parvati, let's get going. Saltuna Cannery, the only source of protein a busy worker needs. The only source that is available. Well, here we are, Parvati. That was quick. Okay, so now I can lockpick without necessarily using those things. Is that what's? Is that what the deal is? If so, I'm into that. Is this somebody's house? Or is this just another abandoned area? Mock Apple Juice is a good name. Ooh, what's a Vulture Pistol? Let's find out. What's that I mean? I don't know. Does it mean there's a mod in it? Oh, it's a laser gun. Okay, that's why. This uses light ammo. Alrighty. 
Okay, you can stop comparing now. This is a nice looking gun. Okay, put the impact hammer. Oops. What's going on? I can't even figure out. Okay, there we go. Now we're now we're getting somewhere. Okay, so very little ammunition in this one, but it should be fun to try out. And we've always got the shotgun. Now let's take a look around, see if there's anything worth uh, pilfering before we continue onwards. We've got Parvati with us now, which is good. Means we're not all alone, all alone. All alone, all alone. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. I love living in here. Where are we headed? You mean about the mission being too clean? Yeah, I mean, it's a church. I know, but Vicar says the universe is a machine, that it runs by law. Uh-huh. Real machines have gunked up oil, scratches, and worn bits. You can tell they've seen handling, been used by folk. The machine Vicar sees is one that ain't never been run. It, it's not for people to live in. It's something on a museum shelf, under glass. Hmm. Fixing the universe is a job for somebody way better than the likes of me. All right, Parvati. Thank you for sharing. Don't mind me. Just stealing everything that's not nailed down. Oh, he's coming back. What's this for? Oh, it's a workbench. All right, so finally they're telling me about modifications. I'm going to guess that was A. Okay, so I've got this. Ranged magazine weapons damage type to shock. Huh. No, I'm... I don't know if I want that. Because this is the only one that we've got right now. Yeah. Pass on that. But a shock shotgun might be kind of fun. A shock gun, if you will. All right, how about my armor? All right, I've got this now. Silver tongue. Geographic scanner. Okay. Let's put that armor on. Excellent. Well, I've lost my butt flap. Alas. But I've got more armor now. Hi there. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. 
You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Um. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Iron and lies. That's right. That's what I've been saying. We gotta square our shoulders and stand ever vigilant. Auto mechanicals. Hmm. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Oh, the resistance for sure. Go on. I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially? Strictly between you and me, I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. This guy's going to turn out to be telling the truth, and then I will be very embarrassed at ignoring him. But until such a time... What's this? A hunting rifle. Mr. Power. Okay, so it's hunting rifle, stun baton, assault rifle, pretty good, and a shock cannon. Wow, this game goes deep, doesn't it? Could I interest you in this bad sword and this old stick? Yes? Enjoy. How about this stick that I don't need? I hope you will find uh, some use for it in your future endeavors. Hmm. Okay. So I've got some bits now. I could I could buy some stuff. I don't know if I want to buy from the machine because the machine doesn't seem to give me discounts for being so silver-tongued. Nightingale step. Ooh, nice. Hello there. Yes? Oh, this is a fast travel point. That's exciting. Love a good fast travel. Getting a good amount of these Adrenos. I'm starting to worry. What if I have only so many because... What are all these red things for? What if I only have so many because things are about to go badly? Like with all of those red triangles in the distance. 